SGG family, what's good with y'all, baby? It's your boy Smooth Got Game back with another reaction video. Not a gaming video? Smooth, what is this? What y'all can tell about the tournament? Madden 24, Madden season has officially started. This is the official reveal trailer. You guys said you guys wanted to see me react to it. I put up a poll in the community tab. Y'all said, yeah, let's go ahead and see it. Let's know about the plan. So here is the video. So basically, we'll watch the trailer in its entirety. I'll talk through some of the gridiron notes, and then I will finish up letting you guys know different plans and ideas I have for the series. So please stay to the end because I want you guys' feedback and honest opinions on what you guys would like to see from the channel. I'll also, if you just really want to, if you really just want to skip it, I might put the, uh, if I can remember, I'll put the timestamps down below so you can get to the end and get to that point. But I also try to put up a community tab post too as, you know, we get deeper into Madden season over what you guys want to see. But I'll keep all those ideas for the end. Let's jump straight into the trailer video, man. Leave a like, comment, obviously with those answers down below at the end. And subscribe if you're brand new to the family, you're ready for Madden videos to come back to the channel we've been it will be only for a good minute we walk, went through a couple walkthroughs but when madden drops we'll be hopefully doing a balance of both it will be the show and madden uh until we knock out that mission and complete that mission on it will be the show and then we'll be completely madden for a good minute so if you guys are ready for that change and shift now mlb fans if you guys came to the channel for mlb do not worry we'll keep doing rebuilds throughout um the next thing will be the show and i'll always tr do something to try to keep me on the channel so either that's we complete the mission and i keep you know the series going if you guys want that or i complete the mission and we switch up and go to a uh road to the show you know what I'm saying we, we will always mlb will, will stay mlb and madden will stay on this channel non-stop i will try to make that push all the way through i know last year we ended the line series and we kind of went completely mlb the show so i'm sorry for you madden fans that subscribe to the channel for madden we will be pushing out madden and mlb the show hopefully year round as they lead into the next game so Let's go ahead and jump to the trailer, man, and let's see what you guys think. I was made for this. And now I'm rebuilt and rewired. With teammates who have my back, just like I have theirs. It's when I hit, cut, dang, and scramble. <laughs> my intentions are Not my team. I land with you. But it's time to show down. Boom, Minnesota. I show him I was done. Off the cuff. And on the run. Because making plays is the name of the game, baby. No matter how big or small the stage is, I write the script. And I'm the star. I was made for this. All right. So let me know if you guys are hyped after seeing that trailer, man. I think I saw a lot of stuff in there that was good. Uh, as far as like if I were playing, you know, blocking looks like it'll be a little bit better. Uh, that's also something that, you know, simming too. You know, we got our rebuild series over here where we cpu cpu gameplay so blocking looks like it'll be a little bit better uh not a lot more dynamic running abilities with the quarterbacks like a lot of those guys were you know breaking tackles and being able to move out of the pocket a little bit better which you guys know i love my mobile quarterbacks we've constantly had the guys that made plays outside of the pocket most notably our most recent one dwayne thomas generational uh qb that led us to plethora of championships so i mean i, I love my my quarterbacks that can move and be mobile new twist on it this year i will get into all that later like i said we'll, we'll talk about what my plans for madden are going to be and get you guys this kind of feedback in that in a second uh but first thing i want to do is i have it on my phone here i got the gridiron notes and since mostly on this channel we're focused about franchise we'll just stick with the franchise notes if you want to hear my feedback and stuff on the other ones get over to the reaction channel where i reacted where i actually did like a reaction video so we talked for a little bit longer on um sean too smooth so head over there if you already are from there you came over to watch this video what's good y'all did not take long to get over i'm glad that you guys came through now you guys get to see a little bit more behind the scenes so as far as with the franchise of course you've got skill based passing and hit everything 2.0 coming back to the game now should i decide to hop back on the sticks that'll be very important that those are both coming back and helping out a little bit with being more I don't want to say realistic, but also realistic at the same time, right? Like if I'm just throwing the ball and I'm letting the quarterback ratings do it all, that's cool. But I don't think it's out of the norm to say, let me use the pass leading to lead it up a little bit more. Because in a real game, a quarterback's going to see, oh, you have one step. Let me put it an extra step in front of you to let you go get it. 
Whereas if you just throw it normal, he might not be able to put it in that spot. You know what I'm saying? So like it gives you at least a little bit of more of a chance to think like a quarterback and do what quarterbacks would do. Now, of course, you got, you know, cross play and all that stuff coming back. Superstar the league, which could impact us. You know, we might bring Prodigy back if you guys want to see it. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is Prodigy making a comeback for another Madden? I think you guys have really liked him in the past. Now, this one seems like a little bit more intriguing because it says go from combine to draft to 99 overall. My hope in my process is that they brought back the combine. So I'll get to do the combine with Prodigy, get randomly selected, not pick my team again. So tired of picking my team. I want to just be randomly selected. And then I will get onto a roster and have my way to work to a 99, or at least to get our first Super Bowl ring. And I'll make it more storyline based. You know, we'll build it up and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see Prodigy come back, or if you want to be doing name change, I think Prodigy should stick around. But if you guys want to do name change or you guys want Prodigy to come back, leave it in the comment section down below. If you guys are ready for Superstar KO, just leave a comment saying, uh, just leave a comment saying Prodigy. And everybody, if you see somebody leave a comment saying Prodigy, just thumbs it up. And as many people as I see kind of give that support, will kind of factor into my decision on if we bring it back. But what we definitely will be doing is the franchise. You know, they got ability to upgrade your team through mini games and stuff like that. So maybe that'll be training camp because they do say targets in franchise training camp or, or weekly strategy. So maybe they'll bring bringing a separate week back for training camp where you get to train up your rookies, which I think would be great. Having a rookie mini camp for at least like two weeks, just to rookie focus, like they're getting all the skill points of training stuff. Like you don't gotta actually go out and do anything. Or if you want to, so you can choose to do other mini games with some of your, you know, let's say you just grab the quarterback, you can go out there and do his mini games, but if you got the uh, defensive end, you don't have to go do his mini games if you don't want to, like you can pick and choose. That I think that would be pretty dope. Now, of course you also got the relocation for there's new teams and stuff with it i'll get to that in a second on what why that might be big for us building future through free agency 2.0 reconstructing contracts if y'all know new orleans <laughs> yes sir my favorite team you know we love reconstructing contracts and i'm trying to get in my uh mindset here of sean payton and reconstruct my contract so that way my teams can always be good even if we're spending too much and it's not unrealistic because we're not even the only team that do it you saw me since we're under the cap it had to reconstruct contracts it happens every year almost 50 percent of the league has to reconstruct deals with at least some players to get under the cap to be able to get better it's just what happens people spend too much money <laughs> so that can be an aspect you know getting new coaches with new upgraded slots for the coaching tree trade generators with better trade logic we hear that all the time but now you have six trade boy i held oh look no nah, i would say six trade spots um which is an upgrade from three before so i mean trace can go dummy stupid now you can add a little bit more into it maybe i can give two players for one player get a pick back and give up two or three picks to make it realistic for them. if i want the number one over pick and i want like their fourth string receiver you know i'll give up my best dt uh backup linebacker will swap first and i'll give you a fourth rounder you know you can make something like that work now you know make it a little bit extra to make it more realistic and a better chance of it getting approved so I think those are all great things. And now with that kind of out of the way, kind of gets into the point of what we're doing this year. Of course, I want to normally I have two series going on Madden when it first drops. And I would love to keep that same thing if I have the time for it. The number one thing will be my franchise rebuild. And I want to hear from you guys. I love doing it CPU, CPU style since I switched over. It's been fun. It's been amazing to just team build and just watch my team get good. It's more satisfying when they win the Super Bowl knowing that I did not touch the sticks. I just built a team that was able to go beat the computer on a regular enough basis and get to the postseason and win four straight. If we went to the wild card, three straight if you didn't. But, you know, let's see that one team. So four straight games. We won four straight games against CPU at at least at least in the season on a four game winning streak to win the Super Bowl without touching the sticks. It was very rewarding for me. So I would love to keep that going with whatever new team I pick. But you guys let me know. Do you want me to hop back on the sticks? If I, if you remember, you've been around since my Jets one. I did a hybrid where I kind of was, hold on. Ooh, your boy sneezing. Where your boy, we watched the game. We would sim some games and we would play some games. And I was always, at least we played every game in the postseason. Now there were big games. You know, I might play like one or two games throughout the regular season that were just considered to us big games. So a lot of times they had to deal with us clinching a division or clinching a spot or in the playoffs or something like that or beating a division rival. We would watch just about every other game and simulate, you know, basically watch, sim, watch, sim. Oh, here goes a big game, let's play it. Watch, sim, watch, sim. Oh, here goes a big game, play it. You get to the postseason, play, 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 play. I'll do some kind of hybrid format like that again, or we can go completely CPU, CPU, or I can go into a complete play series. So, you know, there's other guys in the franchise community. I know C4, uh, not personally, don't think I know C4, but C4, I watch his videos. He plays his every franchise game in his. 
also watch mr hurricane he does cpu cpu what do you guys would like from me what would be more interesting to see happen from me i can do the cpu cpu still i think that's the most rewarding i also miss playing on the sticks so as a common fix to it too as well if you guys can't decide maybe i have a fourth option for you i'll do two rebuilds we've got our realistic franchise rebuild where i will just you know normal cpu cpu business is normal and then i'll give you guys one where we do it like uh nfl style so we will play this one at least while the season's going we'll play like either whatever day the game is on so that video will drop whatever day that game is on so if it's a sunday game we'll drop on sunday thursday thursday monday monday um and we will just play one game that week but i'll actually be on the sticks and playing and just do post commentary or live commentary whichever one you guys would rather see i think i'll probably do post commentary on it i played the game do post commentary on it and treat it like it was actually like on tv types of thing and that would be a relocation it was 100 i was wanting to do possibly a relocation for the cpu cpu like the realistic ranch uh rebuild but i also already have a team in mind that i want to use yes i've had my team picked out since the draft but let me know down below in the comment section i know i'm asking a lot of questions i'll simplify it down for you guys do you want superstar my career prodigy you want prodigy to come back yes or no so comment down below if you want prodigy back comment prodigy you see somebody comment prodigy hit the thumbs up on it so let's get those so i can see how many people want to see it if you want two franchises i want you to put down below two franchises if you want one or the other i want you to comment which one you would rather see so cpu cpu or playing how else do i say it oh cpu i don't know cpu versus me <laughs> i don't want to say like me because then y'all gonna be me we'll put down i want to see you play cpu cpu that's how we distinguish the two or both and if you want to see both i guess there's really no other stipulations on that if you want to see both we'll just do both and just know the other one the one where i'm on the sticks will be a relocation the one where cpu cpu will be the team that i've selected now as far as some hints because i did promise you guys hints so if you stay to this point in the video you're welcome congratulations you might be able to figure out what team i'm using the number one thing i always look at is who is the worst in each division I always look and I'll tell you this much. I always look bottom three on both sides, NFC, AFC. And I try not to do the same conference twice. I'll give you all an opportunity. Now, of course, I could also be tricking you. How are you going to know? I'll give you one more hint. The team that I picked made a very, very surprise selection to, I would say, 90% of people. Because every time I brought up this idea, because I always thought it would happen and I thought it would be fun, everybody shot down my idea that I told it to, saying it was never going to happen. They were going to go somewhere else with their pick. And they ended up getting exactly who I said they were. And he ended up going in a position where I said he would. A lot of people saw him falling out of the top 10 or thought he should be back round of the draft, or first round at the least. I still saw him top five top three so let me know down below you can also comment that too if you think you can guess what team it is go ahead and guess i'm not going to approve or deny it but at least that way when the first video drops and you're like i knew it smooth i can go back to this video and be like did you really though and check my comments to see if you actually commented down below so let me know what you guys are feeling man how you guys are working for this like i said i'll do a poll too as we get closer so you know i want to see your comments on here i'm gonna keep track of the votes on this but then when i get the poll up too i'm gonna add the votes together and we're going to kind of see what you guys want to see from these videos so if you guys are ready for it get active get lit with me make sure you guys are still checking out the mlb the show rebuild though the tiger team is looking good and hopefully we can complete that mission before this game drops we got two months to complete the mission let's get back active and get to work so i'll catch you guys in the next video it's me your boy sgg aka smooth out game and i'll catch you guys in the next video man madden season baby send the game